congratulations. Y'all are officially hearing my first words. But yeah, I'm just going to get in the shower and stuff. Because I don't usually do... I'm talking. Yeah, I'm got the type. Okay. But yeah, um, I usually pray and read. I'm going to do that first. Because that always comes first. But anyways, uh, I'm about to take a shower. And... I'll see you after I'm done doing my stuff. So, yeah. All right, so I just got done praying and all that stuff. Hold on, uh, I don't have a shirt on, so I'm just gonna change that in. Uh, boom. All right, so see my shirt. All right, here we go. Now, just uh, we're gonna talk to y'all a little bit before I uh, read. Let me just open up these curtains real quick because I can get some really nice sliding here. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I might go outside. That's one thing I've always neglected. When I'm on like breaks and stuff, I always like neglect going outside, which I shouldn't, cause I really like going outside. But it's like on breaks, I never really did that. So I wanna try to go outside. I might bounce the basketball around a little bit. But yeah, anyways, I said I was on a break. Well, I'm on a break from school, kind of. This is my last week of school, but the whole coronavirus thing kind of got in the mix of everything and said, you know what? Nah, don't be in school. So yeah, now I'm not in school, but I have to do online work and stuff, which, I mean, it's way better than going to school. I'm, like, I'm, I'm grateful for that. But anyways, I'm going to uh, read, and I'll see y'all after I'm done reading and see what we're going to get in, into in our day. So... Yeah, and basically those are my first priorities. That's what I do as soon as I wake up because that's very important to me and uh, that's just a very important way for me to start out my day. I want to make sure I'm always seeking God, not just in the morning, but also all the way throughout the day because God isn't just a side character in my life. He's the main character in my, in my life. I want to make sure I'm following him and doing what he wants me to do. So yeah, that's just very important to me and that's why I do that, if y'all wondering. But anyways, I'm about to read. I usually read on my phone, but I have a paper Bible. I like using physical Bibles because, um, I don't know, it's just kind of, I don't know, some days I don't like using physical Bibles, some days I just like using it on my phone, but I like using, you know, physical Bibles too. And if y'all are interested, I'm just going to show y'all what I'm reading. I think today is like Deuteronomy uh, 13. I'm doing this like one year Bible plan, so I already finished the Bible last year, but I'm doing it again this year. But anyways, I'm just gonna start reading. say you know that was really good sometimes i have trouble reading the old testament because sometimes it gets a little confusing to me and if y'all know anything about it you know the king james bible is a little bit difficult to understand anyways but i can understand it it's just sometimes i mean i can understand the new testament and the king james just fine well actually i can understand a lot of things in the king james version just fine but it's just like deuteronomy numbers all that stuff kind of gets a little confusing but I still stick through it or push through it because it's in the Bible for a reason, so I have to read it. And plus, I like reading it. It, you know, builds wisdom and knowledge and stuff. And I also read Proverbs. And, yeah, that builds wisdom and knowledge, too. It's not just about building wisdom and knowledge. It's also about getting closer to God. But, yeah, anyways, this chair right here really comes in clutch. Like, for getting all these angles and stuff, like, yeah, this is pretty cool. But I was going to move it back where it came from. And yeah, uh, I'm gonna eat something now. And y'all probably can't see me because there's a bunch of light back there. But yeah, anyways, I have to do school. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna get my computer. But first, I'm gonna eat something because, yeah, that's just, I wanna eat something. <laughs> There's not really an explanation for that. I've been into, like, eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and stuff. Me, I prefer a smooth peanut butter, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that out. We got this Skippy. This is actually really good. I just opened it yesterday. I don't know why, but like yesterday, 
that peanut butter and jelly hit the spot for me. I don't know what it was. And we have another chair right here that's gonna come in clutch with getting the angles. All right, can you see me? So you wanna get your bread out, right? You get two slices, four slices. In my case, I'm gonna get four slices. And I have to eat up this bread before it expires, so yeah. Once you have your two pieces of bread, you wanna get uh, one piece of bread, right? Open up your peanut butter. Just open it up like that. Nice and creamy. But you wanna make sure you get a good amount of peanut butter. I get this much, hopefully this is enough. You wanna just spread it on your bread. I hope y'all know that this is a joke, right? I'm not actually giving a peanut butter and jelly tutorial. I, I, I hope y'all know that. But anyways, once you have your bread, you wanna just go ahead and spread it on there like that, yeah. Then you wanna go ahead and wipe off all the excess peanut butter and you know, screw this back on. I'm having a little trouble here though. All right, got it. So you wanna get your Smucker's jelly. Trust me, this smacks. And open it up. But make sure you get a little bit on there. I don't like too much jelly on mine. Just a good amount, good amount. And obviously, you know what to do from here. Spread the jelly all over it. Smack these two together. Spread the jelly on here. And smack those two together. And boom, there we go. Now you know how to make my yummy, yummy in my tummy, peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, go ahead, check me out on SoundCloud, just kidding. You know what, I actually might get a head start on my schoolwork so I don't have to spend so much time on it so I can get my computer. Right. Oh man, wait, oh, I did it though. I'm gonna see y'all when I get back cause I know you probably just don't wanna see me do homework. So anyways, I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, I'm done. Life is exciting. All right. So you see, I got my basketball here. I'm not that great at basketball. I just got into it a little bit. All right, so. Vlogging in public. Here we go. I thought it was really stupid. I don't know why I did that. Actually, I'm getting a little hot. Surprisingly, so I want to take this off. By the way, this ball is a little deflated. It's not bounce very high. I have to like slam it for it to bounce high, so yeah. So what is up? I will be teaching y'all about dreadlock buildup. How can y'all defeat this enemy that y'all have? I used to have like a lot of dreadlock buildup, no joke. The dreadlock buildup I had was from a mistake I made. So in the beginning stages, I rarely washed my hair. But the times I did wash my hair, well, it wasn't necessarily that I put a lot of shampoo in my hair, 
But the thing is, I didn't wash the shampoo out good enough. So like when I got out, there was still a tiny bit of shampoo in my hair, but that tiny bit goes a long way. And basically that shampoo dries up inside of your dreadlock, then boom, you have some weird white spot or weird color spot in your dreads. And that was the type of buildup I had. So I had just basically shampoo buildup. But yeah, an easy way to get rid of shampoo buildup or really any buildup really is dishwashing soap. But here's the thing, you don't want to wash your hair with dish soap. Don't get me wrong, don't mishear me. Trust me, you, you do not want to wash your hair with dish soap. And let me just demonstrate it for y'all. Oh, I had to make sure this was bleach free. It actually says it right here, bleach free. So yeah, make sure that you got some bleach free uh, soaps. All right, here you go. You cannot bleach hair with Clorox, all right? Just let y'all know that. But anyways, all you need is, uh, I'm telling you, that, even that's too much. You want to just get a tiny, tiny bit like that. See that? Just that tiny bit. And you want to get a dreadlock, just rub it together, and rub it in the area where the buildup is. And make sure your, your hair is like wet too. And the reason I say put only a little bit in is because, trust me, your hair will sud up very fast, What do you, or lather up very fast. And it'll lather up a lot from just a tiny, tiny bit. So make sure you're really, really, really conservative with the dishwashing soap. And it's also very difficult to get it out, to get dishwashing soap out of your head. So yeah, that's why I don't really like doing it, but yeah, build up is a great way to get rid of build up. So that's how you get rid of build up, but how do you manage to not get build up? One thing I'm gonna stop doing in the future is I'm gonna stop using locking gel. Not necessarily because locking gel is horrible. I really like locking gel. But the thing is, locking gel, it isn't necessary to retwist your hair. It's not necessary to lock up your hair. A lot of people have the misconception that locking gel locks up your hair. It does, it's not meant to lock up your hair. It doesn't lock up your hair. Locking gel just holds your hair in place until you wash it again. But I would recommend if you don't want any build up in your hair, then don't use locking gel. Cause with water, you're never gonna get build up. And I don't think I've ever got any build up from using locking gel right now. I'm actually doing really good because I don't have any buildup as far as I know. I used to have a lot of buildup. But that just comes with washing your hair and making sure you wash out all the shampoo. So two things to do to not get buildup. Don't use locking gel or at least try to limit your use of locking gel. And when you're in the shower, shampooing your hair, make sure you wash all the shampoo out before you get out or else it will dry up in your hair. Another thing you can do to reduce buildup is wash your hair, you know? Not washing your hair can result in buildup. But make sure you wash your hair because that gets all the gunk and stuff out of your, out of your hair. You know, really, if you think of what's the purpose of washing your hair, the purpose of washing your hair is to make sure that your hair is clean. So wash your hair if you don't want buildup because that will ensure that you don't have buildup. I wash, my washing schedule is every three days I wash my hair. And it actually uh, helps your hair lock up way faster. Cause another way you can prevent buildup is by not using wax. Do not use wax to retwist your hair or do anything with your hair. Cause wax is water resistant. Cause if you have wax in your hair and the water tries to get on your hair and clean your hair, the wax is gonna say, boop, nope, what do you think you're doing? The water is gonna repel off of the wax and it's not, you know, the water isn't gonna wash your hair as good. And then the wax, also the wax itself is gonna attract dust and the dust, boom, sticks to the wax. So then you got all this dust and dirt and stuff attracted to the wax and sticking to the wax, which the wax is on your hair. So now your hair is dirty because all this dust and stuff is sticking onto your hair. I know some of y'all probably like, well, it's certain waxes. I know I get that, but me, me in the future, I just plan on not using anything to retwist my hair except just water because that's really all you need. <laughs> but yeah, make sure that you're not using waxes. That's why I prefer locking gel over wax because locking gel washes out so much easier than wax. With the wax, you actually have to put a lot of effort in to get it out. Also, another thing people do to get rid of buildup, which I wouldn't recommend doing, but people comb out their dreads all the way up to the buildup. Uh, kind of clean out the buildup and then just, you know, crochet hook their dread back together. But I wouldn't recommend doing that because that's just too much work, really. Overall, just make sure that you're not putting much into your hair because if you're not putting much into your hair, you're not going to have much buildup. But yeah, anyways, I know this is kind of a, you know, action-packed video, kind of. But yeah, I thank you so, so much for watching this video. If y'all liked it, please make sure I like this video. If y'all want to see more videos from me, please make sure I subscribe and turn on post notifications so y'all never miss out on another video from me. 
and we're almost at a thousand subscribers and i'm so grateful for that and things are going to be great in the future all glory to god i thank you so so much for watching this video and with that being said i love you all and i'll see you all in the next video